A lot of us saw a frost or a freeze on our windshield this morning, and it's going to stay like that for the next couple of days as we head into early next week. It was 27 degrees in Greer and Columbia, 30 in Florence. We even got down to 34 in Charleston and 35 over in Myrtle Beach. So it was definitely a chilly morning no matter where you went. And we're going to see more of those chilly mornings throughout your weekend and into early next week. And it's all thanks to this cold front and high pressure center. So this cold front is going to work its way through our area throughout the day tomorrow. Then this high pressure center is going to start to funnel in some of that cooler air from the north. And that's where we're going to see our cooler days start to come in, especially by your Sunday. By Monday, it continues to push off to the east, and then it's eventually sitting right over our heads by late Monday and into Tuesday. And that's going to start to funnel in some of that unsettled weather that we see across the Gulf of Mexico and across the Atlantic. So we could possibly see a shower as we head into your Tuesday, but eventually this low pressure center in the Gulf of Mexico is going to work its way into our area. And that's going to come by mid next week. So we could be talking about some showers as we head towards Thanksgiving, but that's coming up in just a second. In the short term, we are going to see those temperatures a little bit warmer for your Saturday. So mid 50s in the upstate, upper 50s for everywhere else. And we are going to see plenty of cloud cover, especially closer to the beaches. So it is going to cool off after that cold front continues to advance through upper 40s in the upstate and low to mid 50s everywhere else. So if you plan on heading out to any of the games, we have Miami at Death Valley. So it is going to be a chilly tailgating forecast, 49 degrees around 11 or 12 o'clock. We're up to 54 by kickoff, then slowly dropping back into the 40s as we head towards the end of the game. We also have Tennessee in town and Williams Bryce taking on the game. Cox is going to be in the mid to upper 50s for tailgating around 3 o'clock. Then we're only going to drop from there because we're going to go down to 56 by 5 and then 50 as we start the game and then eventually making it into the 40s. So if you head out to any of those games, it's best if you take a jacket because it is going to be pretty chilly. We're going to stay in the 50s as we start next week. Then we go up into the 60s, but that does come with the chance of a couple of showers and perhaps even a thunderstorm. So that's when we're going to see that low pressure center from the Gulf eventually start to work its way into our area. So for your weekend, we are staying dry to overnight lows are going to drop into the 20s and 30s. Then we are going to start to see those temperatures warm up as those showers do return by your Tuesday. So it is really pretty unsettled as we have throughout the middle and end of next week. But our best chance of rain is going to come on Black Friday around a 40% chance at this time. Temperatures in the 60s are eventually going to drop back into the 50s as we head towards next weekend. So keep me here at Will's Weather for all your latest information.